I don't know whether there is restrictions or not, but still we will be going, we will be trying. So let's go to that particular point. Hello guys, I don't know whether I have entered a restricted area or not. Here you can see it's a naval it's a naval base. It's a naval base. Here you can see a submarine. It's a demonstration. It's just for demonstration and all. Here you can see the how the submarine looks like. Ship of uh, Dennis Gomez. This is a warship. This is a part of the propeller, propeller, quite heavier. Brief description. <laughs> Standing in front of the warship, of the first warship of Denmark government. It is open to visitors. Anyone can come and visit the inside. What is there inside the warship? It's like museum nowadays. Uh, there is a submarine also, which is there on that side. This is the warship. I'll just uh, check about the ticket whether the ticketing office is still open or not. I'll, if I'll get an opportunity, definitely I'll be going inside. I'll be taking to the tour. I'll be taking the tour. I'll be doing the more about this place and the museum. So here you can see. This is how this ship look like. It's quite it's big. So I'll be finding out more about this about this then I'll be going inside finally. So guys you can see our talk there and for the local public. Long torpedo, a torpedo tube to launch the torpedoes. Like, what's the price? What's the ticket? And uh, what's yes. PESK and Musk? It's, uh, it's a frigate. Uh, this warship? Yeah. yeah. I can take a tour. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
one week in October. Yeah. All right, you can give me this tour. Yeah, I'm taking a combined tour, combined tour for two boats and this uh, for one boat and the submarine and a mass train. I'll show you guys. Uh, we are we are starting at 18, 18 uh, you, years. we started 18 years. Yes, and then we are going to, uh, to retirement at uh, 60, or 60. 65 now. It's a, a new thing. All right. Uh, and then uh, I've been in the navy for 36 years. 36 years. Yes. What was, was your... a radar specialist. Yeah, okay, you were a radar, radar specialist. And com computer specialist. All right. Yeah. Uh, so you were you fought uh, any of the wars? They, in 1931, I think there is a war between Denmark and Sweden. Yes, but uh, I've not, never been in a war. I was uh, sent for NATO Special Forces to okay. Cyprus from the Mediterranean. We had some ships that we had to maintain. So you were in the maintenance also? Yeah. You were taking care of the, all the maintenance parts? Yes, yes. I was passed from uh, all, all the radar systems. Uh, I had people to manage. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. It's nice meeting with you, sir. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Have a nice trip. <laughs> all right. Remember, 15, uh, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock for the guided tour for yeah. somebody. Yeah. All right. And when you like to go to the mass train, just come here and send, and send the guide. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you so much. So finally, I got the ticket. Uh, there is some uh, something to know about this warship. So let's go. Finally. This will be quite uh, exciting because I've never seen a warship in my life before. But this is the first time that I'll be going and exploring this warship. What all is there? Let's figure it out. These are the beds. These are the lockers. This is how they were taking care of the patients and their soldiers. This is a doctor's room. It's like a my room. So we will be going down. It's a Crobatin, that is F340. These are the warship and this is the submarine. Big ropes. These are the rocket launchers. This is the Shailas bathroom. This is the bathroom for Shailas. This is how does this look like sailors bathroom. Watching and bathroom for the sailors in division. Here we go. We are reaching the top now. Sell the detention. It's a page shop in this room. The deck crew kept their stories for maintaining the ship. Uh, in this, just to maintain the ship, this is the main store. 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 This is
they keep it clean on this. And carpenter shop. Carpenter shop. We even have a carpenter shop here in this rec also. Uh, not in this rec because anything, anytime they require a carpenter also. There are certain section. Uh, this one is section 2B brigade. And now was this? This is linen store. So washing, related to washing and all. These are the beds. It's quite exciting now where I'm going. Uh, it's a lot of ladder, it's a big ship, a lot of things are there where we can go and explore. I have to go down, get this juice. This is the ammunition. This is where they have captured the animation, how it has been loaded. Uh, the way they load it and here they keep all the uh, ammunition like this is the ammunition room where they keep all their ammunition this is uh, well, I'm in ammunition. ammunition room now well I'm in ammunition room this is how they keep the ammunition this has already been loaded and then they fire it automatically these are the rocket launchers. These are the launchers. It's a travel dining room. It's 4D. Hey, you can see. Now I'll be going up. See. There is a phone. There is a phone also. Finally, the moment I entered, this is the hospital area. This is the hospital area, which is there on the front side. And this is an ammunition magazine, which is reloaded. I showed you the ammunition, which is right there uh, at the bottom. Not on this floor, but it is uh, down on the other floor. So they load the weapon, weapon there from that row. They just inform them, this is the rotator. The way they want to rotate it. So. We are on the front side. Here you can see these are the happy heavy weaponry weaponry. What all do we have? Like I'll just first I'll show it to you guys. Uh, these are the war cannons, cannons, cannon guns, cannon guns. Here you can see. So these are the cannon guns. Uh, cannon guns. Uh, we'll be going inside. We'll be finding out more about this. And before that, we'll I'll be taking you to the top. Uh, exactly, it's just it looks like. This is how the ship looks like. The guided tour that I have taken, I have taken for two warships and the mass crane. That is the mass crane. We will be going inside. Uh, and there's the submarine. There is a guided tour for submarine also. At 3 o'clock, that will be in English. So I'll be attending the one which is at 3 o'clock. Uh, they have a guided tour at 2, but that will be in Danish. And right now I'm in the warship. I'll be exploring the warship. I'll tell you more, tell you about this warship. Ah, uh, this is how it is. We have been coming down. Like there's the end of the there's the first part of the ship from where the ship is start. We're starting from the front side, 
and this is how it is but now we will be going inside the cannon guns area and there is an entry from this side This is the area for cannon guns, like these are the cannon guns, these are the cartridges that they have kept it. How? It's quite, it's about, it's quite heavy. These are the cannon guns which they fire. They just load it and then they fire. And there is a mechanism which is installed in this also. 127mm cannon. This is for the brief of this fire guns which are installed in this this is the cartridges one twenty seven mm cannon it's a gun turret finally I'm getting a feel that I'm in Navy and I'm just attending one of the workshop a workshop uh, not the workshop, but I'm in my own trip in my own city. Now, we'll be going down. Here you can see the uh, control unit where captains sit and where they take care of the entire system. This is how exactly it, is, it looks like. Compact Information Center. They get the information center. And this is for the navigation. These are the navigation tools, the compass that they use. Like how it is. Beautiful. The way they use this compass. We do not have to operate the keyboards, and these are the electrical switches. And now we are going to the upper deck, the captain's mains. The wheelhouse and the open bridge. This is the wheelhouse and the open bridge. And from this platform, the officer on duty operated operated this ship according to direction from the CIC. Beside the officer on duty. This is how does it looks like. They got a gun. Wow. It's quite heavy. It's a wonderful feeling to do we are handling a gun like this. See, it's quite heavy, but it's good. This is how they do it. This is quite heavy, I can see everything. The lenses are quite wide. You can see all the things very clear. The binocular is so strong, you can see the people, those who are standing there, those who are walking, which is quite a far, but they were quite, this is how it looks like. We 
admittance it's not allowed so we won't be able to go up we won't be able to go up because uh, that thing is not allowed rest you can capture everything in front of me you can see what all is there it's a beautiful part to be here finally now we are going down i'm going down one again one last time i'll show you the exact view how does this looks like from front and now nothing is there all right we don't have anything these were the torpedo tubes along with the torpedo This is the front deck. The captain personal process of being the captain meals, organized dinners and gathering of captain guests. This is the man who will be take caring of take care of captains. Captain's pantry. This is the uh, guys. This is the captain's pantry and this is the person. Uh, this is the little kitchen which belongs to the captain and he is taking care of the captains every time. And these are the VIP quarters. Here you can see. This is a VIP quarters. How does this looks like? See, looks like like this. And this is finally captain's quarter. This belongs to the captain, the head of the flight. We got files, everything. This is the bed for the captain. They have locked the toilet. This is the entire cabin that belongs to the captain, the head of the ship. Apart from the, his instructions, you won't be going anywhere. He's the one. He has to give the instructions, and everyone has to follow those instructions. Like finally. This is a radio station. The radio station was a link between shore. This is a this is for the communication. Uh, this is the radio st station. Communication, yeah, communication, right? Communication, yeah. Okay. This is the area we have already covered this area and now we'll be going to the other area ah. There's the mass crane along with the air, uh, along with the ship These are the torpedo tubes I was talking about. These are the this is to launch the torpedoes. This is quite big. How does it looks like from inside? They are installing the way they install the torpedoes. Uh, it's quite big. Just like there, there is a meter gauge also torpedo tubes. The frigate was born in 1973. This is a torpedo tube. Compressed air. Torpedo tube. 
torpedo TP612. This is all about the torpedoes. This is the this is the torpedo and this is the torpedo release tube, uh, which is the compressor and all. Uh, and this is the tube is quite big. They just install the torpedo inside this top and just just launch it. And now we are going inside. We'll be going to this way first. This area is for the officers, for the legends. Here you can see the names. Exactly, is this video screen? The training putting are here on board will fire hours on board and emergency response. This is for the year on board. I'm just showing you to uh, show you guys the English part. the rooms which belong to the sailor. Now we are entering the sailor's room where they sleep and where they spend most of the time. And this is how this the beds looks like. You can fold it. It is foldable also. And here this is the racks. This is for the reading. Three and four. This is the bar area. the electric switches technical officer this is the cabin for chief technical officer this is how it looks like and this is for the exo cabin It is locked. Uh, there is no way I can show it to you from inside. This is Pedro Sikram. This is the name of the ship. Warship. The water.
Now we'll be entering the engine room. We'll be going down to the engine room. This is the maintenance room. We are somewhere in the middle forward casing. We are in the forward casing now. So we'll be going down. Let's go find out something interesting. This is the main thing. Diesel engine room. This is a diesel engine room. The room contains a diesel engine room. There are some of the equipment which is stainless steel stop engines. And this is these are the diesel engines. Sixteen seventy two stroke engines. What we call it. And for getting these are the diesel engines, these are the rotators, shifters, and all these here. So, what I showed you to you were the diesel engines, this is quite attached to that one. And here you can see it's quite big, it's very big. So this is crazy. <laughs> now I'm going up. This is the biggest turbine. This I'm all alone. Nobody is there. So I'll be going all the way up. Or I'll be going all the way up to the back side. This is the front. Or this is the front scaling. This is the front scaling. And on the very lowest stack. Uh, this is the gas turbine engine, uh, which is right next to the diesel engine, 16 cylindrical four two stroke engines, which is installed right next to this cabin, which I showed you guys where they were not allowing it to go down. So this is here. Nobody was there. So I thought I'll be going and I'll be capturing them. So you have already seen the gas turbine engine. Now I'll be taking you to some other place. See, guys, we were in. Uh, I'm in forward casing. Right now, I'm right here. Uh, at this part, this part where the gas turbine engine has been installed, a diesel engine is right next to this. So we'll be going to the back side. We started from the front. A hospital was there. The cannon guns were there. We went aside down. There were sailors' room. There were sailors' rooms on, on this side. There are engines on this side. Now we are going to the aft. You can see. How does this looks like inside the warship? These are the flashlights which are installed in case there is some electrical electrical failure. Then in that case, they can use these flashlights. So this was what I was talking about. This is the diesel engine room. Uh, in the forward casing, this is the forward casing seven, and this is the forward casing eight. In forward casing eight, there is a gas turbine engine which is installed down, and in this for forward casing seven, there is a diesel engine. You can see a diesel engine, right? And this and this is diesel engine, which I showed you to you. And this is a forward gear room. I was in gas turbine. It's a forward gear room. It's a forward gear room. So uh, for going down to the gear room, this way. And for DJ digit is towards on that side. So now we will be going to the some uh, petty officer mess room. This is a petty officer mess room. Now we are entering the petty officer mess room. Yes, here we are in the mess room. This is the best thing. Ring the bell. Had a good time. So, 
how it just looks like petty officer room they installed a TV they installed a TV a flashlight now these are the old maps now I'll be going home What room is this? This is the main contact room. This is how they used to contact it. All the parameters. The care room and the diesel engine room, which I told you, these are the parameters to take care of the entire engine. So they are putting on a train, and these are the parameters where they keep an eye always. Uh, two persons need to be seated on this thing. I don't know how many people but uh, there are certain people need to be there on this and taking care of all the parameters they have to record the parameters over a period of time like every half an hour every 15 minutes it depends upon the criteria or they for us this is how they do it like there's a particular chart there's a particular chart where they have them uh, it's in, this is how they do it if they wanted to cut out the power, if they, something goes, uh, something is going wrong, then the uh, maintenance team will be going there, and they will be finding out much more about this. It's quite exciting. You are getting to know everything, uh, everything on your own, know, on your own, because there is no value to, nobody is there to help you out. So you have to figure it out what exactly it is. But the best thing about this, uh, this thing, uh, is here is. Uh, Everything is written, but uh, not in English. In some of the portion, they have uh, converted into, uh, they have translated into English, but most of them in Danish in their local language. No admittings. It's not allowed. So we've been out going. This is their dining area. Like this is the kitchen. Now we are entering kitchen, the main part of the ship. Food, food, food everywhere. So how they do it? This is the sitting area that they have built up. Uh, you can sit and you can have your last dinner, breakfast. This is the coffee vending machine that they used to operate it, and this is the kitchen. Kitchen area. They kept to the glass. We are entering the bathroom. This is how they take shower. Probably a Danish warship or Danish warship. Uh, this is uh, the warship that I'm missing is F352. Here you can see uh, the model of the ship. I started from this side, then, then I entered the cannon side, and on the front side, there will be a hospital. On the lower deck, there is a room for sailors, and on the front scaling, there is a gear room. There is a gear room, and on the right hand side, on 8, on 7, on 7, there is a diesel in the room which was not allowed. Uh, I, even I captured some of it. So now I'm entering the, the mid portion. 
There is a kitchen, there is a dining area, which is there. And before that, there was a petty officer room, petty officer mess room was there. And now we are going into all the towards the back side. And there is a um, like plate between the front. They have kept it. Now ring it bell and donate a coin into the 125 pound cartridge case. Is this, this is a cartridge case, so they, they have made it a, a donation box. Wow, this is something which is interesting. These are the rooms. Each cellar has a wardrobe holding following personal equipment. These are the personal equipment over in which over where they have got the wardrobe which is there inside. This is the wardrobe. Like I opened it to you. So these are the things which you will find it there in their wardrobe. We are here on the Cold War room. This is the area that we are here. This is known to be a cellar mess. This is known to be a cellar weapon. And weapon division quarters are there on this side. So we are here on this way. And right now, as I showed it to you, the moment I went downstairs, they were armory division screws quarter. This, these are the crew quarters. They have separate quarters. This is for the armory division. Six Sparrow magazine. Hey, finally got a missile. It's a Sea Sparrow missile. The missile had an explosive charge of 40 kg and the speed was 2.5 Mac. Whoa. Let's go down. Technical division quarters. Now I'm going down to the technical division quarters. Here you can see these are the quarters for technical division. We got separate quarters for every single sort of division. Now they have their quarters for the technical division. Nothing so special, but. Guys, this is quartermaster office. This is uh, he is responsible for the inspection of the all of decks, the administration of the crew. So he takes care of the administration of the crew. Now here you can see how it does it looks like. So now I have to go only half of the ship and then I have to go all the way up. Now I'm going all the way back, back. Uh, there's a mass crane and the submarine is also there. I have to take the guided tour also. And now I'm going to the aft area. To the then I'll go in up. I'll be going up. These are the cannon guns. See, this is a crane which is there. A crane. And these are the weaponry, the armory division. That's the reason that the armory division is there on always there on the back side. Uh, they, there is a technical division also, there is a, there's a sailor's room, there is a division. And you can see this is a crane area, Sea Sparrow Launcher. It's right there on the up side, on the up side you can see the Sea Sparrow area. Now, just trying to go up and find out more information about this. So, we will bring up this warship. Like, uh, you were on this warship before? Uh, in English? I'm not. In English, English, in English. Uh, I, 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 only, I, only a little bit, so uh, whatever you understand. Okay, the ship are from 1966. Okay. And, uh, was finished in the Danish Navy in 1988 and uh, it 
was only 20 years, it's not much. Okay. But uh, this ship was one of the most popular ship in the world. This one? Yes, because we have a jet motor. Uh, on board. Guys, this is the, one of the most popular ships in the world because they got a jet motor. Yeah, two jet motors and two diesel motors. Okay. So we can go about the 32 notes. 32 notes. It's very fast for this ship. Right. It's very fast. So you worked on this ship? Yes. Have you? Yeah. Yeah? So, so in which department you work? I was an uh, artillerist. Uh, Ghana. The gun. All right, you are yeah. artillery department. Uh, <laughs> I'm not. You're taking care of cannon? Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, magazines. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, that's great. So you got a lot many memories with this ship, like it's like your family? Yeah, I've been in the Navy for 11 years. 11 years? Yes. So now you're retired, sir? Yes, that's right. So I'm here and I just need food. He is like a couple. Your little son? Yeah, and we are we're about in. 500 people okay. are paying to the ship, and uh, everybody uh, do it. Uh, what, what do you call it? What, what it? Uh, volunteer. What, what it? Yes. Nobody have. Okay. The Government is giving money to for this maintenance for renovation for you people also. Why you people are being volunteering and contributing for this? Yeah, but we, we, we are private. Nobody owns this. Nobody owns this. Yeah, no, no, not even government. No, 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 no. no. We, we, uh, we, we have our uh, union. We have our union. Okay. Uh, it's a fund. You know a fund? No. What a fund is. No. People that have yeah, a, I, a, a factory or a okay. ship or something, but what we private nobody have paid to us, nobody. So we uh, we we have some. Why did you see the ship in the winter time and they pay for it? We have them on the boat. But uh, we do it free, all of us. And we work and we uh, pay it and we uh, yes, all of it. So it's a pleasure meeting you. Hats off to you. Yeah. Uh, I'm from India, I'm from Delhi. Yeah. So, no. yeah. no, that's okay. So it's a pleasure meeting you, sir. It's a wonderful feeling. Good. Very good. I know you got a lot many memories with this ship. Like uh, this will this is Absolutely. your child. Absolutely. Like this is a, yeah. this is a part of your family. Yes. We will be here to do all what we can to <laughs> fix it up. Right? That's it. That's what all I respect you say. the next 20 years. For the next 20 years. Yeah. So you are taking care only for this warship or for the submarine also? Only, only warship here and uh, the last one. Okay. So uh, I'm here. It's <laughs> time. It's very good. It's a, it's a pleasure. It's a wonderful feeling to be here. So. Yeah. This is the first time, last, more, last time I came to Copenhagen, I visited to this place, but the moment I saw the warship, I saw today I'll be going any which way I'll be going to warship. Yeah. At first I was I was wondering that uh, there may be some sort of restrictions. I don't know whether this is a museum or turn out into a museum, but I thought it's a naval area so nobody will be allowed it there. Yeah. So I thought I'll just go and have a look. Yeah, and finally I got it. Have you been on the river? No. no. I'll be going sir. I have taken the guided yeah, tour. Very At three o'clock there was there is an English tour, so I'll be taking tour. Yeah, that right. tour. What time is it right now, sir? Uh, Children are playing with the gun, and uh, here you can see a live boat. And uh, this is the crane which they use. So with the use. And there is a 40 mm gun which is installed on the top of it. And finally, I'm done with the ship because there is no admission which is going up. Uh, I can't go up up to the another sector. This is the control areas. And now this is the spare spare boat. If something goes wrong, like if there is a fire or something with the ship, 
or if they need some assistance and all in that case they use this ship and this is the crane this is the crane that i was talking about this is the crane area and now we're done with this and soon it's i'll be going finally the ticket that i have taken for this warship f352 and the other one that is b547 i'll be going on that ship now and after that i'll be going to the submarine i'll be going inside that submarine i'll be finding out more information i'll tell you something because that one is a guided tour uh, it costed me around 125 kroner it's somewhere around 1300 or uh, indian rupees so it's a wonderful thing to be there inside so i'll be going that on that trip now i'm done with the this warship now i'm going so So we can go up. And this is the system information and the gun which I was talking about. This is the gun. or not but this is the gun that I'm talking about it's quite heavy which is used by the captain like which you should to the captain these are the binoculars these are really very powerful binoculars from these binoculars I can see far beyond the lake side I can see people walking clear so clear about uh, a kilometer and the distance is the worst in a very short and I can see them clearly yeah so these are the switches this is for the navigation I guess. This is the place like if we go to the Savior Church and the second best place what I have seen is the War Museum. They are running on their own, they have their own union and nobody is helping them out. But the uh, captains, all the crew, they are trading the, the this these ships like their family. And now that I have purchased a ticket of 125 kroner, it's about 1300 rupees. And I'll be going first. I've already visited this ship. Now I'll be going on P507. That's a war aircraft. And the third one, I have to go take a guided tour at 3 o'clock to submarine. And fourth, I'll be going to the that mass crane. Mass crane, I'll be going to. So finally, it's a wonderful journey. It's a wonderful day. Uh, it's wonderful to be here. And you can see. What's the presentation? Anytime you are coming here, I would say please visit this place. This place is remarkable. You will see the entire how crew works, who, like uh, warships, how warships looks like, and what about the warships, the engine, what kind of engines they are using, what kind of hardware that you are using, that they are using, and finally the upgrades are available, and it's a beautiful journey as until now.